July 3rd, 1981, the New York Times printed the first story of a rare pneumonia and skin cancer found in 41 gay men in New York and California. The CDC initially referred to the disease as GRID, gay-related immune deficiency. But when the symptoms were found outside the gay community, a man named Bruce Voller, a biologist and founder of National Gay Task Force, successfully lobbied to change the name of the disease to AIDS, Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. Anti-gay discrimination rose as thousands of young gay men got sick and died. The AIDS epidemic tore through the gay male communities with no offer of help or any assistance from President Ronald Reagan or the government. That's when gays learned to take care of their own, with many lesbians coming together with their brothers to care for those dying of AIDS. And it brought the queer community together like nothing ever before. Thankfully, there are now drugs to make AIDS and HIV manageable and not a certain death sentence as we know. But in the early 80s, it was like the bubonic plague. If you've seen the film, The Normal Heart, it gives a moving and dramatic view of the epidemic and of Larry Kramer, a playwright and activist who played an enormous role in warning gay men to stay safe. The advocacy group ACT UP for AIDS Coalition, Coalition to Unleash Power was formed by Larry Kramer and his friends in response to the devastating effects the disease had on the gay community. The group held demonstrations against pharmaceutical companies profiteering from AIDS-related drugs, as well as the Latin lack of AIDS policies protecting patients from outrageous prescription prices. Hey, honey. Summer has officially begun. I've never seen or heard of anything like this. This seems to only be happening to gay men. We have to do something. No one else will. Men do not naturally not love. They learn not to. On Ned Weeks, I spoke to you after the Times article. I've seen over 300 patients. Where's this big mouth I hear you've got? Big mouth a symptom? No, it's a cure. You are all going to infect each other. Let her speak! He doesn't leave much to look forward to. You're accusing the government of a conspiracy to murder all gay men? Yes. Mr. Mayor, we need your help. Mr. Mayor! Let's move somewhere far away. Don't you dare stop for one single second. What are you doing? How are they going to help us if they don't know who we are? They won't help us now that they do. What happens to people who can't be as strong as you want them to be? They're going to cancel our health insurance. They're going to put us into camps. They're going to quarantine us. You can't stop fighting for the ones you love. Someday you'll understand.